Friend Slow Flam, what's up? All right, we're out here at Assateague Island doing our thing, you know. We're a family of four. So, a little bit about the Assateague experience from us. We are staying on the National Seashore. So, Assateague Island National Seashore. Now, there's a little bit of a difference that was hard to get a feel for and decipher on the website. So we'll give you a little info on it. You can camp at the state park, the Assateague State Park. Um, that is a great place for families. Here's some footage from there. You see they got a little playground. They got a spot for the kids. You're on the beach. Facilities, bathroom facilities, awesome. All right, that's the state park in Assateague. I grew up going to Ocean City. And that's kind of where I think of Assateague is. I've actually never been to the National Seashore, and that's where we are now. <sighs> Weather-wise, not the best day. But here is a national park, which is cool. I never knew that Assateague, I thought it was always just a state park. But this national park, obviously famous for the wild ponies. There's plenty of wild ponies. Here's some right here. Um, invading our campsite one evening which was cool uh, and if you're gonna come see the wild ponies here you will definitely see them um, no doubt about that but the other thing with the national seashore is the facilities are very primitive um, so you just get in the campsite uh, and then you're getting you know the beaches and the marshes and all that stuff the state park the facilities were much nicer much nicer also the thing with the national park is if you don't have that national park pass you will need to pay another $25 or $45 depending on your vehicle the amount of people in your vehicle all those things um, to even access the national park and that's on top of the camping registration so think about that before you book but We've had a blast here, done some paddle boarding with the kids, um, out and about, plenty of birds to see if you're into birding, anything like that. Another thing I want to emphasize about the state park side is it's close. So when you pull in off the main drag, over the bridge, you're going to be camping right away. There's hundreds of sites and you're right on the ocean. So take into account the breeze, going to be a little breezier. Also campsites right next to each other. Um, so out in the open, no trees, kind of like parking lot grass setting, right over the dunes. You're at a full beach, no lifeguards on duty, but really cool if you're into surf fishing or surfing. Now, the national side, you're going to go a lot deeper into Assateague itself as an island, which is mind-blowing to me. I never knew it was this big. So if you're going national, watch out for bushes. They attack you. If you're going national, then it's going to take you a while to get back in here. It's deep in the cut. Um, camping is a little bit more secluded, uh, you know, if you're into that. The facilities aren't as nice as I said before, but it, it's going to be a lot longer of a trek to get into the park. You know, we're talking another 10 minutes in the car or something, but you're going to feel like you're a lot deeper in the park. Now, if you're on the state park side, it's like quick, easy beach camping in and out. You got the camp store, the firewood, everything right there. Not as much when you talk about the uh, national seashore as far as facilities and things like that go. So, state park, a little bit better for families, families on the beach. Um, national park, more so on the uh, bay side, at least that's where we're camping. I'm not sure if they have ocean side in the national park. So you get all these little inlets and cuts, which is really cool. And it's a little bit more secluded out here. Uh, so you're not getting, you know, the sites that are, they're next to each other and you have neighbors, but it's not uh, right on top of each other. Obviously, you can kayak around in the marshes, all those types of things. And then there's the beach and the ocean. The weather was a little bit nicer. We'll probably be taking the kids out there also. So that was kind of our uh, wrap up of our Assateague experience. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And as always, we really appreciate it if you subscribed. Help support the channel. Smash that like button. We'll see you guys on our next adventure.